right so a uh, very good evening everyone uh, we'll be starting our presentation sessions now uh, first we have nimit with us yeah nimit uh, yeah let me just share myself can you see yeah you are visible can you see the screen yes it's visible uh, what's your topic uh, yeah uh, one second yeah, so um, the project was given to me was a real time stop uh, application market uh, data application. Right, and uh, from which group are you? Uh, from the online uh, uh, full stack development group. Full stack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can start. So it's okay. It's clear overview of project and office, right? Yeah, uh, I've also like done the I've made a basic application also, so you can have a look as well. Yeah, you can now start. Yeah, fine. Okay, uh, so we'll start with the introduction of the project and then I'll take you further with that. So basically, what are stocks, right? Uh, so stocks are share ownership to publicly traded companies. So usually companies issue uh, some stocks on the stock market. So anyone who's interested can buy the buy the stocks accordingly and then uh, hopeful, like hopefully they'll go up in value and pay, or, and pay them dividends. So uh, the project that was given to me was real-time stock ma market data application. So basically what this application does, it's, it uh, pulls data from APIs and puts them in an understandable format to the front end. So uh, the technologies I've used are this, but I'll just open the documentation once we can have a look properly over there. Yeah, so this is the documentation. Uh, if you go to the technologies used, we've used uh, for the front end, I've used HTML, uh, CSS and JavaScript, and I use Re JavaScript framework React.js. So uh, basically, and for the backend, I use Node.js and Express.js. And uh, uh, to match the database, I use MongoDB. So the main part are these APIs. So the, one of the APIs is Alpha Vantage API. So basically what this does, it, it contains uh, historic data, stock data, stock market data, which you can fetch using the API queries and everything. The other API I use is News API, which is uh, an API that pulls data from the newsapi.com and it gives you the most recent or the articles you are looking for. So basically you can sort these articles using keyword, phrase or date published or the language or anything you want. Yeah, so this is the documentation. Uh, moving forward, uh, this is how the web app looks. Basically, there's a stock uh, home button and there's a news button. And uh, there's a search bar over here. So if you click on the search bar, uh, sorry. Yeah, if you if you write at any stock uh, symbol on the search bar, it basically gives you a drop down which you can pick from, and then it shows you the chart over here. So in the chart, there is uh, the options to select from one month, three months, six months, or all time data, and can uh, there's a scroll bar down which you can zoom in or zoom out in the chart. The next part of the web application is the recommendation news app. So over here, if you can see, I searched for the Amazon symbol. So it gave me all the recent news regarding to Amazon and that company. Um, so working with the API, so this is a Postman, a screenshot of Postman software, where this is the API key. And uh, I entered this API and I tested the basically the APIs if they're working properly or not. Same I did for the news org API where I passed uh, the uh, uh, symbol as basically Q is equals to Amazon. So it gives me all related articles related to the Amazon on this. The next is the fetch stock function. So with, what this function does is using that same API query, it goes to that website and then it uh, stores the data into a sort of an array over here. So they store a uh, stock chart X values function, open values, low values, high value. So these are the areas it stores the data in, and then it uh, presents them, it plots them in basically a format of a chart. The next is uh, the fetch news function. Similarly, uh, same way as the other function, basically it creates a news uh, news API org, and then it uh, stores, the, uh, stores the data received into a JSON format, basically a key value pair, and then it uh, again uh, puts it into the front end. And this is the data I created. Uh, this is the drop down list. So it is basically uh, the list of NASDAQ top 100 companies. So I just stored it in a text format and so the, it can be searched from the front end. Uh, I'll give you the project demo now. I'll just start the application.
just give it a minute it's starting Okay, uh, meanwhile, it's starting. Okay, I guess we can just move forward, give the conclusion. So basically, uh, the conclusion of this is it's an application that anyone, all the investors can track their portfolio in real time. So this application provides an easy to understand format that displays the stock market data. And then it essentially displays uh, news related to that specific stock or anything that is searched by the, uh, by the user. Yeah, so this is the app. So basically, if you click any single let's say tesla so initially it won't show any news uh but if you start T S L A, so basically it shows a tesla chart which you can zoom in you can see the last five years data or more or less basically scrolling this zoom function and shows uh, it shows you the open the high and the low of that specific day or the specific month and then uh, it shows news articles related to that. So if you click in the news articles, it takes you to the it takes you to the specific page it was uh, talking about. Uh, there's a uh, news page also. There's a news page also which just such as uh, recent news about anything, all these businesses or anything like that. Uh, so that's the project demo. Uh, the conclusion already have given you. Yeah. Uh, any questions for me or anything? Yeah, you can continue. Yeah, uh, this is a QA session. You can give me if you have any questions for me. Uh, we'll talk about it at the end. Yeah, I'm done with the presentation. Yeah, so these are the references I've used. Uh, these are documentation, use API, React app, everything like that. And these are my contact details. So I'm done with the presentation. Okay, uh, believe it's done then. It's over, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, was this task scheduled? Sorry? Uh, this presentation was scheduled? Uh, this presentation was scheduled yesterday, but I couldn't join. I had to urgently go somewhere. So, I asked them on the chat. They said, uh, do it today. It was scheduled for uh, yesterday? Yes, so schedule for yesterday, but I had to go urgently somewhere. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, can you just uh, reshare your PPT? Sure. From the beginning? Yeah, from the beginning. Mm -hmm. One second. You can see it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, go for the third, then fourth. Okay, and then fifth, and then you show the graphs, right? You go for the then seventh, seventh. So you news the page. news page, right? See, uh, since uh, you are from you know web developer, right? Uh, full stack. Yeah, full stack web developer. Now, mm -hmm. uh, in your deliverable, mm -hmm. it's written to you know highlight features of your talk app, right? For, yeah. Uh, what you are showing is the uh, you know, if you enter one stock, it will show you the prices and everything rise and fall. Yeah. For current, for any uh, week or uh, year as well, and yeah, news related to that stock. Yeah. Right. See. Uh, but uh, what about the features of your full, uh, you know, real time stock data app? Ooh, uh, what What features do you mean? Do you mean the news? Uh, uh, yeah, news is one of the features, right? Yeah. But mm -hmm. what about the others? Because news can't be the only feature you'll be displaying yeah. or in, in your uh, real-time stock data app. Yeah, and one of them is authentication. Yeah, so a yeah. uh, user can make an account and then it can he can select some apps specifically to that uh, uh, that user and they can store them in his portfolio. Right, and uh, yeah. any other? Uh, features related to this is, you can have other features like the uh, volume of a stock and uh, the yeah, recent so trends in buying and they, selling. They have to be mentioned in a PPT, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Like the authentication is just. Yeah, open. authentication uh, should be mentioned. I have mentioned it, one of them, uh, I guess, at the end. 
we haven't uh, or it's mentioned in the documentation if i'm not wrong one second yeah so uh, mm -hmm. see for the overview you, you know you mm -hmm. don't have to uh, make a demo of, of it it's good that you have made it uh, yeah. and put up the efforts for uh, developing it but uh, yeah. there was no need for the actual yeah. it's still good uh, but then again uh, don't have to make the documentation part for, for it you know yeah it has to be mentioned in the ppt itself uh, okay last time i think someone told me that uh, even documentation uh, should contain it's all a, the features and things it's a synopsis na so uh, yeah uh, can you just show me the mail which you got uh last time one second do you yourself use any uh, real time stock data app uh, yeah i use binance yeah okay see in the delivery bus itself it it mentions that a fully functional real time stock market data web application so so yeah. it's like uh, you did the demo part to uh, yeah to that like cover that and then the documentation, documentation outlining the presentation and showing the yeah right so application features yeah the documentation itself you know the features it's a, it, it has to be included in the ppt you yeah, need yeah but it says the, documentation yeah for that's the like task uh, deliverable to sub, to be submitted in the technical chat but mm -hmm. while presenting you have to explain your features with, sure, help, yeah. with the help of ppt because that that's what ppt is for all right okay you know, it, it can't Noted. separate yeah i can't separate them it's good mm -hmm. that you are explaining your technological stacks and everything you, which you are using here Yeah, like vintage API and everything, also vintage. Yeah. Yeah, but the features are equally important to be mentioned in the PPT itself. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah. just the features and yeah. else. Yeah. It's good that you have uh, included the uh, uh, code yeah, that, itself, yeah. and uh, you explained them pretty mm -hmm. well. And uh, there was a good demo part. The conclusion, you know, you can uh, yeah, you know, replace the paragraph format in, uh, with pointers, liners. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then uh, at the end of the presentation mm -hmm. uh, when you you know end the presentation the mm -hmm. reference should be on top of qna okay so references yeah uh, you need to be you know ending the presentation like the second last slide should be qna and sure. the last to be thank you slide mm -hmm. okay, so that's when we'll know that your presentation is over so you don't have mm -hmm. to wait for qna like to you know someone to question you and then you mm -hmm. end your ppt Uh -huh. uh, because we will be reviewing your PPT at the end itself, right? Okay. Uh, at the end Q and A, it's uh, the uh, every reference is mentioned as, as well. That's good. Mm -hmm. There was a good good hook story as as well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, yeah, a good introduction as well. So basically, the PPT was good. It's just mm -hmm. the documentation features could be more explained. Sure. Yeah, in the PPT itself, mm -hmm. right? Uh, oh, yeah, right. and that's all from my side. Uh, okay. Yeah, great. Uh, I believe. Would there be anything else? Yeah. No. That's all from me. Okay. You have my email, right? Yeah. 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 All right. Can I leave? Right. Thanks. Yeah, you can leave if you don't have any query. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So uh, let's move ahead. Uh, Ashutosh, we have Ashutosh with us. Uh, yeah, Ashutosh, we have your presentation. Yes, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Today I have presentation. Yeah, you can uh, share your screen. Okay. It's scheduled for today, right? Yes, sir. It is scheduled for today. Right. And you are from which group? Uh, sir, my project task is overview of the projects in Opsys. So, And uh, the, it is from developing a stock screener application in Python. So you are from Python developing. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. You can start. Yes. So coming to the story of the story type, uh, it is in the vibrant city Mumbai. Uh, uh, ambitious young boy named Raj was. determined to uncover the hidden investment opportunities of the stock in market but the vast open ocean of the data overwhelmed him so one day he found a app to stock is the application 
he was very interested so he swiftly in installed in his smartphone and began exploring with a few taps he could filter out stocks based on specific criteria such as its price to earning ratio and divided yield so raj was excited his heart was so excited so he installed it and curated list of promising stocks he deep dive financial stock performance and market report raj unearthed hidden gems that aligned perfectly with his investment strategy <laughs> he was so happy he found found he was so fond of that app and has good now has good knowledge about stocks and very user friendly interface of stock sifta app so he was very confident in investment decision he invested in com- undervalued companies of mumbai based tech giants and emerging based business from bangalore such as we know from major business in india come from mumbai and bangalore over time raj stock <coughs> stock is portfolio flourished the stock he discovered through this app outperformed the market and bringing him considerable financial success so news get to wildfire among his friend and colleagues who are also eagerly sought his advice soon the stock shift the application become a game changer so news become wildfire among everyone uncovering the hidden opportunities of the fast paced world of indian finance with the stock shift the app at the fingertips anyone individual from all walks of life discovered the power of to unlock their financial potential no longer well and by overwhelming data they confidently navigate the stock market uncovering the opportunities in metro cities like mumbai delhi and chennai out there the stock shift have become a symbol of empowerment transferring the way people approach invest, investing in india it brought clarity simplicity and success among many people of india in the ever evolving world of indian stock market the stock sifta became an indispensable companion so this was a story now come to the main content of the stock screener application so here i will tell project overview stakeholder requirement defining project scope and project planning and timeline features and functionality mock ups conclusion and in the last question and answer coming to the project overview <clears throat> our project revolves around the creating an stock application that empowers users to filter stock based on specific criteria such as price to earning ratio divided yield and market capitalization this will leverage financial data api to retrieve real time stock data ensuring our user have the most out of data up to date data information that is available as of now furthermore we will prioritize creating an intuitive and user friendly interface to enhance overall user experience so this are is our project overview stake over stakeholder requirement gathering in this we have to understand and incorporate stakeholder requirement is crucial for successful of our project we research for various resources to gather their needs and expectations we read many interview surveys and meetings to ensure our comprehensive range of requirements we identified the following key from our stakeholder such as it is it should be fast and reliable and flexible it should not be showing a particular stock data it should be many stock data so can user filter out intuitive and user friendly is very very necessary ability to save and export to filter stock list and real time update is very very important in stock screener application so here is the defining of the project to ensure focused and achievable project we define the scope of carefully considering the stakeholder requirements we have outlined many key feature functionality that are 
stock screener applications should include some of them are price to earning ratio user can filter based on price to earning ratio or any filter that can that they want dividend filtering users can screen stocks based on their dividend yield which is ratio of annual dividend to the stock current price market cap capitalization user can filter stock based on their market capitalization how they are capturing the market at the current time additionally we will include other features based on stakeholder requirement ensuring our application meets the diverse need of our users coming to the project planning creating a detailed project plan is essential to keep our project in a track and ensure it is it is successful completion our project includes the following elements such as project timeline and milestone we establish clear timelines and specific milestones to track our project and stay on schedule such as we have to integrate api integration and retriever we will integrate financial data uh, apis to retrieve real time for the for the stocks we will research and uh, identify the appro appropriate apis some of the apis are known as master card apis merge apis and the array api that can be used to for retrieval and manipulation and coming to the algorithm development and implementation developing algorithm to filter out the stocks based on user criteria such as price to earning dividend dividend yield market capitalization we will create a custom filter that allows user to filter stocks based on their own criteria we will implement the algorithm by python and test them thoroughly so to ensure that they provide accurate results coming to the user face and inter user interface and design implementation design should be user friendly for the application that allows user to easily filter stocks based on their requirements we will use python gui library such named as tickner and pyqt i will use tickner we will also integrate the interface with the backend functionality we will use api i have mentioned earlier such as mastercard merge api we will test the application thoroughly to ensure that is bug free and meet the user requirement we will create a unit test uh, to test the functionality of uh, our application and ensure that it performs well under different condition we will de then deploy our application into aws or heroku it so that it can be accessed by anyone understanding the user need is very important to deliver application that truly caters to our user need we invested time in understanding their preferences priorities through various user feedback collection and usability studies in web pages and articles we get valuable insights into their expectations regarding the stock screener application this influenced our designer design 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 decisions and helped us prioritize features and functionality that align with user needs features that it will include that it, that is going to be included in our app such as price to earning filter that will uh, we will use to filter out the stocks dividend yield additional feature we will use to customizable alert users will receive and multiple stocks compare they can compare and market capitalization of the stocks so they can um, compare which stock is good or bad for them coming to the wife and mockups creating in the making of the project wireframe and wireframe making is important to provide feedback early in the development process here are few examples of our wireframe the wireframe defines basic structure and layout of the our user stock screener application it will include header header contains the application logo and navigation navigation menu 
the navigation menu include option like home filter saved setting and settings filter below the header and the wireframe prominent filter section which section allow user to input their desired filtering criteria in the result each stock is displayed as row representing relevant information such as stock symbol company name current price and other key data points and the pagination and sorting the stocks will be sorted uh, in, in in ways such that it can be it is user friendly and the user can navigate through multiple pages coming to the mock up mock up is more detailed representation of application user interface including the visual design elements color and topic uh, now is the demo or prototype of the of this stock screener application this is just the ui here it is home profile uh, user can view their profile and watch list and contact and in, by clicking continue they can filter out the stocks they can filter out on the basis of price to market capitalization they can view share holding of the stock in the market and they can view their own portfolio so they can know in which they in which stocks they have invested and uh, and how stock is performing anybody can contribute to this project by looking to by entering into github and contributing to the stock screener application for any query anybody can email me here is the email in the conclusion our stock screener application project aim to provide user with powerful tools to filter stock based on their specific criteria what they want by gathering requirements from stakeholders uh, defining the project scope and creating a detailed project plan we are confident in delivering high quality application their feedback throughout the development process ensures that our application will meet expectation of our users coming to the question and answers if uh, anybody wants to can you explain how the wants to know the how the stock screening application retrieves real time data from financial data api we are going to use financial data api since we do not have huge data so we are going to use financial data api the stock screener application will be integrated with the reputable financial data APIs such as Alpha Vantage or Yahoo Finance. But uh, I also ma mentioned MasterCard API is one of the best API and Merge API. These API provide a wide range of real-time financial data, including stock prices, earning ratio, and market capitalization. This the application uses a secure API code to fetch the latest data, ensuring that the users have access to up-to-date information. How customizable are the filters in the stock screener application? The answer is the stock screener application offers a high level of customization when it comes to filtering stocks. We have provided three kinds of filtering, and many customization will be included. For comparing the stocks, users can define a specific criteria. They can adjust these filter according to their investment strategies and preferences, enabling them to find stocks and meet that specific requirement. Uh, can the stock screener application handle large stocks efficiently? Yes, it will be handle large stocks as well because API are reputable and they provide financial data very efficiently and effectively it uses if they use efficient algorithms and data structures to provide and filter large data sets quickly additionally pages and sorted pages are implemented to manage and display results in a user-friendly manner even when dealing with a large number of stocks does the stock screener application provide any additional analysis or insights? Yes, the, it will provide beyond basic filter. It will provide 
analyze tools, analytics tool and insight to help the users to make informed investment decision. For example, users can access stock profiles, historical performance charts, and company news. These features will help them and provide a comprehensive view of each stock in able to assess its potential more accurately. Uh, can the stock screener application track and manage uh, users' investment portfolio? While the primary focus of the stock screener app application is to filter stocks, it has portfolio tracking implementation. Users can input their holding and monitor the performance of their investment. This feature helps uh, users to stay informed about their portfolio overall and making adjustment accordingly. Coming to the next question, is this uh, and last question, is this the stock screener application available on multiple platforms? Yes, it will be available on many platforms. It will be based on mobile app or iOS, but uh, I will be implemented on uh, um, Windows based because the thickener is only based on Windows. Open. It will be working on only Windows operating system, but uh, if anybody Android developer or Swift developer, it can be also used in iOS to allow users to access from many platforms. Coming to the references, I have used the free code camp tutorial and medium blog to read and I study the Francis Git repository and Adobe Illustrators to make up the mocks yeah. and project planning and location blog at technologyblog.com. These are the references. And that's all from my side. And for in the further week, implementation of the project will be done. So that's all from my side. Thank you. Thanks, Kumar. Uh, Ashutosh, is your presentation over? Yes, sir. My presentation is over. That's it. Yes, right. So, uh, Ashutosh, uh, did you take any help from your friend, like for the demo part or the story part? Yes, sir. I have uh, uh, take help from them. Okay. Yeah, because the story. So, so, I can't make these stories. I uh, just change a few things like. Uh, uh, wildfire or something like this. news get uh, uh, spreaded among his uh, friend. Right. So uh, let's talk about the PPT first. See, uh, it is good colors for the formatting part. The themes are good. It's just uh, the font size which are you, you are using. It's not yes. you know, uniform throughout the PPT. Some, uh, yes. Somewhere it's bigger, somewhere it's smaller. And yes. from the second slide itself, if you just click on the second slide, Okay, sir. Uh, see, even if you, if, even if you are, you know, uh, talking about the story, you don't have to, you know, uh, add the entire paragraph because it looks so congested. You know, okay. if you could have divided them into slides. Okay. Right, and from there itself, from the third slide and the fourth slide, you you can, as you can see, there's just too much text. Right, because these font size are too small. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, so either you uh, zoom in or you have to, you know, go for the full screen or or at least you know divide this into two slides. Okay, okay. Sir. Yeah, because you are using very small font size here. Right, even though you are, you are having good theme and formatting is good, but if, if the texts are not readable, then what's okay, the sir. point? Right. Yes, sir. Enough. Coming to the and then again the sixth slide itself. Yeah, you're using an entire paragraph. You don't have to do that. Pointer just just point wise. Yeah. Now uh, see um, when you are presenting a presentation, right? So why liners are important? You add few liners, okay. and you don't have to put all the paragraphs in them. You okay. are the one who's presenting here, right? So you yes. don't have to read the PPT. Okay, okay, because there there were so many times the, uh, where you were only reading the PPT. Okay. PPT is for your audience. Okay, your audience can read the PPT. You have to explain what 
it's there in the ppt yes sir yes sir. and not to read the entire ppt yes sir yes sir. okay second thing uh can you just uh, scroll down right so the eight slide eight, can you just yeah eight slide yes. yeah eight slide yeah project scope see here itself in the left side it's the font size is too small then the right it changed to bigger yeah, so there's no uniformity okay and uh, in the 11 slide itself you were reading the entire text okay yes when you're going you don't have you shouldn't do that okay you shouldn't do that you read it or you you know make a gist out of it and then explain it in your own terms that will be you no know, more more understanding for your audience yes sir, yes sir. yeah and uh, then uh, since it's your project in office right can you just tell me you know five to six features of your uh, of the project in office five to six features of your you know the uh, 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 you are making a real time data right yes sir yeah stock data so so can you just tell me uh, five to six features of your application Oh, sir, like it will filter out the stocks based on the user filter, filtering criteria, and it will they will compare stock data, mm -hmm. and in these are some of the features. Or they can also view their portfolio and uh, stock performance. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned yeah. mm -hmm. right. So yeah, if it's a if it's a stock uh, uh, trading app. Don't you this think just a poor? Yeah. So don't you think authentication is a important feature? It's one of the important features. Yes, sir. Authentication is the most important feature. Yeah. Yes, sir. For that, uh, Firebase can be included, but uh, I, I I don't know how to integrate. Okay, so that's you have to learn. Yeah, that, that's fine. <laughs> In the coming weeks, you are going to implement it. As you yes. mentioned there, then uh, talking uh, about the uh, end of the presentation, can you just scroll down. Yes, right. When you include QA slide, okay. Yes, sir. Right. You don't have to include question and answer. Okay. For, uh, a QA slide is a slide where you ask questions to the audience. Okay. Right. And just uh, jump to the reference or the conclusion slide. Okay. Uh, okay. Don't I just to, to read the questions. Yeah, you don't have to add question answer. You are the one asking. You know, you are the one uh, asking the audience whether they have any questions or not. If you okay. mention the question yourself, right? So why even to include a Q and A slide? Okay. 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 Right. Uh, then there was a conclusion slide and reference slide. I believe that's yeah. That that's all from my side. Uh, just uh, just work upon the you know uh, formatting thing. Okay. Have uniformity throughout the presentation, and replace all the paragraphs with the liners. It will be you know, much more uh, effective to explain to your audience. You know, okay. And yes, yeah, th that's that's all from my side. Thank you, sir. Yeah, sure. Right. So uh, I believe. So I, I have to leave email or nothing? No, you don't have to. Uh, do you have any query? No, no, sir. Yeah, so yeah, you can leave if you want or you can stay if you want. Thank you, sir. Right. So uh, next we have uh, Shreya with us. Yes, Shreya, do you have your presentation? Yes, sir. Yeah, you can share the uh, screen then. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, can you tell me a topic? Uh, so my topic is full stack web development. Mm -hmm. That's a group. Uh, uh, developing a doctor search website. Okay, so it's your first task, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, I can start presenting. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so just a second. And yeah, please uh, turn your camera on. Okay. Is the screen visible? 
yeah if it is visible can i start yes please go ahead um uh, good evening sir um today i'm here to uh, present uh, my uh, today my uh, topic is doctor sir's website um let's move on to task description um i had to develop a doctor sir's website and the objective was to uh, get a clear understanding on how to use figma for designing web applications and uh, how to export the designs made uh, to html and css using anima and lookify app uh, we have the contents here um a brief introduction a uh, full stack development refers to practice of designing or uh, developing and deploying both front end and back end components of a web application it involves working with multiple technologies and frameworks to create fully functional and interactive uh, web application uh, like uh, for front end we have front end developers and back end we have back end developers full stack a full stack developer can handle uh, both of the uh, uh, can handle both of the frameworks and uh, they have a more um, they have a better overview of the project which they are handling rather than specific developers and uh, they can handle uh, the client side and the server side development task uh, that includes creating user interface implementing business logic and ensuring the applications overall performance and security with a full stack developer there is no need to separate front end and back end developers uh, they can streamline the development process front end versus back end a uh, front end focuses on client side and back end back end focuses on server side front end um whatever the user sees on the screen and whatever the users interact with on the screen it involves creating the user interface designing the layout and implementing the visual elements and whereas for the back end part it handles processing storage and retrieval of data back end developers um, ensure smooth functioning from behind uh, the servers the key features of the doctor uh, search website which uh, i have to create would be uh, having uh, doctor profiles each doctor listed on the website would have a comprehensive profile which would include essential information like their name portfolio their specialty their contact details and their experience uh, patient reviews and ratings um, people uh, whoever would have access to the website would you would be able to uh, see patient reviews and ratings for each doctor and uh, genuine feedback would help them to uh, take, uh, like gauge doctor's expertise and decide accordingly uh, then we would have doctor ratings and certifications if we display the ratings and certifications people can make um, a better uh, judgment of uh, which doctor they would prefer to uh, problem statement like what is the need of a doctor search website uh, like many individuals face challenges when facing for suitable healthcare professionals due to limited access uh, accessibility to relevant information and lack of transparency in healthcare system uh, these difficulties uh, can lead to delays in receiving appropriate medical care dissatisfaction with healthcare providers and overall diminished patient experience which makes online doctor search websites or whatever websites they can find uh, information related to medicine and healthcare uh, very important in the industry uh, implementation first uh, we have to define the requirements of what all we want to include in our website what are the features we want to include uh, all the possible features like doctor profiles search filters appointment booking uh, we'll decide that what all we wish to have in our website then uh, uh, secondly we'll design the user interface we'll create a friendly and intuitive user interface and uh, we'll design the wire frameworks and visual elements keeping in mind our target audience um thirdly we'll convert the design into html css code using basic structure and styling of the website for which uh, we use the anima and lookify app um here is the basic overview i can see this uh like this is the front end part of the website uh, it was designed using figma uh then we have a uh, back end development uh, to choose a programming language suitable whatever suits you then create a database system uh, like i have used my X, my sql here to store it, uh, to store doctor information patient data and uh, reviews and then build apis uh, lastly we would have integration and deployment uh, the most important part to connect front end and back end 
by making API calls from her front end to retrieve uh, display doctor information. Then we have server setup to uh, deploy the website on a server. And lastly, domain hosting to register a domain and make our website uh, accessible online. Um, conclusion, uh, in conclusion, uh, the doctor search website which we have created, it uh, allowed it allows ones to gain a comprehensive understanding of the development and uh, it enhances problem solving skills and improves decision making abilities. And um, it gives uh, it gave a much more uh, overview on implementation of uh, uh, languages like HTML, CSS and JavaScript and uh, also uh, web designing apps like uh, Figma. Thank you. Are you done? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, just a second. Right. Uh, so, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you uh, just uh, reshare your PPT? Yes, sir. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you uh, first show me your demo? Um, demo? Yeah, the, the website you built. Oh. It's there. Uh, is it visible? Uh, no. We are still on your PPT. Uh, share the whole screen. Uh, just a second, sir. Is it visible? Hmm, now it's visible. Right. Uh, so can you just enter some category and enter location? Uh, I say actually the backend part is not done yet. It's only the front end. Right. So, uh, your, then your uh, task is not complete, no? Uh, no, sir. Task is not yet complete, but I had to develop, uh, deliver the presentation. No, uh, that's not how it uh, supposed to be. See, you, uh, firstly, you have to follow through the videos, being provided with nine videos, reference videos. You, mm -hmm. you follow them and uh, do all the steps complete the task and after you have completed the task, make a PPT of your task about the task and then schedule for the presentation. Okay. Because uh, uh, when did you got this task, the date? Uh, it was uh, two to three weeks back. Two to three weeks back. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so you schedule for the presentation, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, but... Uh, the task is not complete, so you don't have to schedule it. Okay, I uh, said actually the thing is, uh, I didn't have much idea about uh, this full stack web development. Uh, front end work part is done, but uh, even after seeing the reference videos, like I'm not able to get how to do the back end part. Okay, okay. Uh, see, for you know, in detail uh, overview, you can refer previous videos see many uh, uh, many interns have done that task because mm -hmm. the first task they get is the uh, de uh, doctor's search doctor search. right so mm -hmm. you can refer those videos they are already posted on youtube channel of akveda secondly uh, uh, secondly uh, you must have gone through the you, you must have built this website through using uh, figma then you mm -hmm. have to export it using locofy right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. after that uh, you you create your account on the zero zero web host, right? So that zero zero web host, um, I tried to do it, but uh, all those domain names were paid there. All the they were paid. Huh. No, uh, like uh, when you register for zero zero web host, you get like one hosting free. I think you missed the uh, it's uh, actually given on the middle part of the site like you get one hosting free you get up you get a you know database free mm. uh, you get up 
basically case my admin my admin so that that part as as a you know free thing for zero zero web host i think you okay. missed that okay so i'll again check it yeah because uh, this website which you are showing it's uh, stored in your computer right Ah, it's stored in my computer. Yeah, uh, it's I can see the address. So you didn't uh, upload it on the on the site. I know. Okay. So sir, yeah, actually the task is not completed. Okay. Yeah. So I can't mark it as complete until you complete it properly. Okay. You can reach. No, so sir, that uh, I'll complete. I just wanted to know that what are the steps from like from here. Like I created the database. If you created a database, ah, uh, I created the database on MySQL. That part was done. Uh, you created a database on MySQL, but uh, for accessing MySQL, you have to create the account on zero zero web host. Okay, okay. Uh, so first I'll create account there, and then yeah, now you create an account on zero zero web host. Hmm. Right, you get you get the uh, you, you should be remembering your credentials there. Now uh, hmm. after and uh, entering into your account. You'll get a free uh, hosting site. They'll get provide you with PHP My Admin data, a mm -hmm. database basically. Mm -hmm. Now you can create your uh, database basically, category, location, doctor's location, uh, doctor's not your area location, doctor's mm -hmm. category. You'll be uh, fetching name name of the doctor, profession, some. Uh, it's actually given in the video itself, like how you create the database. No, so that database is created. But then, uh, where did you create that database then? Like that my as well. Uh, PHP my admin. Okay, it's okay. Okay, then uh, after creating the database, hmm. now you have to code using PHP. Uh, that P using PHP. Right, it's it's uh, hmm. given in the video. Maybe you followed it, right? Hmm. Yeah. After coding it, you have to create another file which displays the Yeah, you have you have to be getting a, a different file which has to be displaying the result. For that, you have to create another uh, design in the Figma where you'll be uh, replacing on the like four easy step to get your solution. That thing be replaced by your results. So uh, when you uh, enter the category, the location, and then click on search button, you'll be getting it will show the result page in the horizontal section, uh, horizontal manner. Yeah, uh, and that that be uh, done by using different uh, second PHP code. Uh, that's that exact that's uh, explained in the video itself, right? Okay. Then after creating the, them, you have to check it using Postman service, right? Okay. And when you check them, uh, like if uh, that the website is working fine, mm -hmm. and then you go for the. Uh, uh, Entire uh, everything that you have to upload hmm. on file manager of the uh, Azure Azure web host. Okay. Yeah, and then you'll be having a proper doctor search website where you'll be putting category, location, and then hitting the search, and you get the result. Okay. Sir. That manner you'll be uh, uh, completing the task. Okay. So I thought that we could uh, just uh, deliver presentation based on the basis of whatever progress you've made. No, see, uh, you you were assigned uh, like two to three weeks back, right? Hmm. Actually, uh, that's like more than sufficient uh, time for completing this task. Okay, sir. Like, were you procrastinating? No, sir. So actually, it's placement season and all. So okay, I, there are a lot of things. Okay. Uh, And if you get any doubt, you can always reach out on Trello or technical support. You can try them. Right. So, uh, say, but I, yeah, as I said, I can't mark this task to be completed. Uh huh. So that that I get it. I will complete it as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. For additional support, yeah, you can go for. You, do you have Trello uh, handles? For mm -hmm. your web dev. Okay. Uh, okay. Or uh, please drop your uh, email in okay. the chat. Right. Right. So uh, I'll help you uh, in this by using uh, my own files. 
that I've created earlier. And uh, I'll talk about it with uh, some of the interns. We'll reach out to you and help you. But until then, you refer those videos and try to do it by yourself. Okay. Okay. Sir. It's it's basically it's it's uh, explained in a very simple manner. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, and once you complete it, and then uh, because it's already this because uh, this presentation is scheduled already, right? Mm. right. And I I I'm, I won't be marking it as completed. So you have to you have to give presentation like in coming week or the end of the week so, or maybe tomorrow. Okay. I suppose okay. you won't be able to complete it tomorrow by tomorrow. But so basically, sir, uh, I can uh, I'll deliver I'll deliver it latest by next week. Yeah, yeah, go for Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Okay, sure. Thank you, sir. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, next, we have Vilas with us. Okay. Vilas is not here. Yeah, I believe we don't have any more presentations now. Uh, a very good evening, everyone. We'll be uh, concluding our presentation session. Yeah, sir, do you have any query apart from the task? Oh uh, yes, sir, one more. Uh, like, uh, what are, are the minimum number of tasks to be completed in order to um uh, get the completion right. certificate? Right. So, uh, I believe it's around seven, six to seven, but may, uh, mainly seven tasks to be done. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. I believe that's all uh, with the discussion session as well. Will be conclude yes, the presentation session and a very good evening, everyone. Thank you.